how to create an accordion in Wix Studio. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so and pretty much cover all the basics when it comes to the accordion, how to actually set it up and how to design it and everything. So basically, if you didn't know, a, an accordion is pretty much where you can add uh, more like an FAQ tab. So it's going to be a title and then once you actually click on the drop down for it, it's going to show you more information about that title. So it works best for FAQs, but obviously you can even use it for many different um, you know, reasons. So uh, it's going to be pretty good because it's going to save a lot of space and have plenty of content. So it's going to be neat and good for your site. So now that we talked about this, let's just go in and show you how to add it. But I need to note that uh, I don't think that this is going to be available for the default Wix editor. This is going to be for Wix Studio exclusively. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and start by clicking on edit site from the top right. And this is going to allow us to open up the site editor. Now, until this loads in, I just um, I need, you know, basically what we need to do first is just find space for it. And this is going to be the first thing to do. And then I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. So let's just wait for this to load and show you guys. So you can feel free to go ahead and create a new page for it. For example, if you want to create an FAQ, this is going to work well for it, or you can just add it to your homepage. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and in this case, uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add a section. I know I already have an empty section here, but I don't like to have it at the top. Uh, anyways, to start, we are going to add the actual uh, accordion itself. So it's going to be very simple. You want to add it from the top left. If you click on add elements, this is going to open up pretty much everything when it comes to elements that you can add, uh, obviously. And then you want to basically add the accordion. I believe it's going to be within, yes, it's going to be in the layout tools. So just click on layout tools and you're going to find accordions right here. And you're going to find, uh, I believe, one, two, three, four, five different ones that you can, you know, go with, see which one is going to suit you best in your site and go with it. So I'm just going to go for this one. It's going to be the more FAQ-ish style. So I'm just going to go for this one, but either one that you pick, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. The design aspect is going to be the same. If you want to adjust the uh, content within, it's also going to be the same. So yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to use this one. So if you want to use any of them, just drag and drop them to the section with left click, obviously. Now, if you don't even have a section, it's very simple to add one. Just go to the bottom of a particular section and just click on add section. It's going to create one for you automatically. It's going to look like this once it's empty. So now that we have this, first we can resize it either by hand. We can just do this and this is going to resize it here for us. If you want it to be, you know, um, like full instead you can just click on stretch which is going to be at the top right corner but i don't really like that i'm just going to keep it as it is right now and just leave it in the middle uh, we can stick it to the top if you want but uh, i'm just going to keep it here for the time being so as you can see we have about let's just click on preview we have about we have services and we have contact us by default and then if you click on the plus icon next to about, it's actually going to show us more information and even an image here. And if you click on the other one, it's going to show you more information about services and also an image. And same goes for the rest of them. So this is pretty much what an accordions uh, or an accordion would look like. So let's just go back to edit site. And now to actually manage this, because usually you're not going to keep everything as it is. So about services and contact us, you would want to change that, right? So in order to do so, it's very simple. You want to actually click on the accordion itself and then just click on manage items, which should pop up here at the top. So once you click on manage items, you're going to find all three of them or however many that you found with the template that you picked. Uh, but you can do a few things here. You can first add a new item. So, you know, about services, contact us, and even a new one. Uh, you can move them around. So, for example, if you want to change the order of things here, you can feel free to do so. So let's say contact us is the first one. Just basically just drag and drop it at the top, and it's going to be the top one. It's how it works. So you can just move them around until you're satisfied. And then we can also click on the three dots right next to any of them. And this is going to give us the options to collapse them 
if they're open uh, gives us the option to duplicate them rename them or even delete them so all of these options are available so in my case i'm just going to rename them so i'm just going to do test one i'm going to do test two and i'm just going to do test three real quick and before we end it i'm just going to do add item as well and have test four now once you actually create a new item it's going to be pretty much empty so as you can see this is actually you know opened up but there, but there is pretty much nothing so this tells us that this is empty so we want to add content to it so before we jump into the design aspect let's just show you how to add contents or even edit content within an item it's very simple so first you want to open up the tab let's just call them tabs that you want to um, adjust or add contents to so in this case we have test four here it's pretty much open if you want to open another one it's very simple just click on manage items and click on the one that you want to open uh, but i'm just going to go for test four close out of this and let's say you want to add an image much like the previous one uh, and also some text to do so is very simple you want to go to the plus icon from the top left go to quick add and just find image and once you find image or any element really that you want to add just go in and drag and drop them and right here when it says attach just drop them and let's say we also want to add some text next to it but first if you want to actually change the image it's very simple just go ahead and click on the actual image and click on change image which should appear at the top here and then you can feel free to just upload media and select it and click on update okay so now that we have an image here let's say we want to also add some text it's pretty much the same steps you want to just go to the plus icon and just click on paragraph for example drag and drop and you have a paragraph you can feel free to extend it or you know lower it make it bigger or smaller and if you want to really adjust the text it's also a possibility possible because you can just highlight it like so uh, change it by just you know double clicking on it and just changing the actual text if you want if you want to change more stuff to it or add more things to it like the size and stuff just go ahead and click on it and uh, on the right side you're going to find this toolbox or toolbar here which is going to show you a lot of stuff for example you can change the um, style you can change the font you can change the font size and so on there's plenty that you can work with so let's just go and change the font size to uh, 50 here and yeah as you can see there's plenty that you can change even the color or even you know making it bold uh, as you can see in the formatting obviously is also going to be an option if you don't see this just you're going to find it as an arrow here just click on open inspector and this is going to open for you uh, but just make sure that you're actually selecting the actual text otherwise it's not going to show so now that we actually added this entire thing we're good to go now we can just feel free to move on and basically um, adjust the next one so to do so again just click on the accordion itself and just click on manage items go to test three for example and now instead of actually adding elements you want to basically just edit them because they already exist uh, to edit them is very simple just click on anything that you want to edit and just click on change image for example and if it's text just double click on it and change it much like we did with the previous one and let's say that you know test three two and one are really matching with with the size for example so let's just view that in action for example we have test one just notice the images placement and also the text placement two three and then four you can actually see that this is quite different from them it's not consistent so what do we do in this case instead of basically instead of adding a new item and starting from scratch what i highly recommend that you do is just you know stick to one so let's just do test one as an example uh, and then just delete these and stick to one before you start anything and just start duplicating it as many times as you actually need it so let's say we want to have five different tabs for the accordion then just you know duplicate it five uh, or at least four times and then it's going to be a lot easier for you because you basically just you know change the image and then just change the text 
Again, just open up the next one, change the image, and then just change the text. It's going to be a lot easier than, you know, line, aligning, aligning things up yourself and trying to make it the same uh, size and stuff. Now, there are also different things that we can do. For example, instead of clicking on, first click on the accordion, but instead of clicking on manage items, we can click on the settings icon here right next to it. And we can see the default state for it. So whether it's going to be all items closed, uh, this is upon visit. So once a visitor visits your site, it's going to see them all closed or first item opened or all items opened, which I don't really recommend. So I'm just going to keep, keep them as first First item opened, I think, is the best one. Uh, and then you can even feel free to change stuff here, like transition effects and stuff. But then we can also go to layout. And again, you're going to find different things. For example, you can have arrows instead of plus and minus. Uh, and then we also have more things like the icon position and more padding options here as well if you want to do them. If you want to change colors and stuff, you just want to click on the accordion itself and just open up the um inspector here from the top right and then from here you can feel free to change the design aspects for the actual titles containers and also accordion items so for example for the titles here we can actually change uh the background color for them uh we can just go ahead and change them for the hover option uh, but we can also go for the containers themselves so instead of having a white background we can change that so it is you know gray for example and we can also feel free to change the same thing for the accordion items. So <clears throat> this is, oh, oh, sorry. This is also going to be an option that we can do. We really need some water now. Okay, so I believe, you know, now that we have some things that are very visible here to you. So you can actually go ahead and go, for example, to, uh, let's say the, can, let's say the titles here. If you click on titles, you can feel free to change the text aspect for all of the titles. You can change the borders, you can change the corners, shadows, icons, and so on. So all of these options are available to all of them. So when it comes to design, there is plenty to work with and change it really to your liking. Uh, but yeah, I believe this is going to be a, a good tutorial for you guys to get started on accordions. And I believe I covered pretty much everything that you need to know when it comes to them. So hopefully you found this video to be informative and helpful. And thanks for watching.